Earthquakes and volcanoes. Earthquakes and volcanoes are often in the news. They can cause great damage and danger to the people who live near them. However, earthquakes and volcanoes also help to shape our art by forming mountains, valleys, and islands. When the Sinabung volcano erupted on the Indonesian island of Sumatra in November 2013, nearly 18,000 people had to leave their homes because rocks and ash rained down on their homes. What is inside the earth? Both earthquakes and volcanoes occur because although from the space, earth looks like a giant ball. It is not solid all the way through. Instead, it is made up of layers. Look at the diagram of the layer below. It shows the different layers of art of the art is made of. The art's crust is the outer layer of the art, the one we stand on. It is a layer of solid rock beneath the soil. Underneath the crust is a very thick layer of hard rocks called the mantle. Some of the mantle is solid, but parts of it are so hard that the rocks are melted, have melted, and flow like sticky tar. In the center of the earth is the core, which is made up of two parts, both of them are extremely hot. The outer core is made of hot liquid iron with some nickel. The inner core is a hot ball of solid iron with some nickel. The arts plate. The arts cross is not just one huge outer layer of rock. It is made out of seven giant pieces. It is and at least 12 smaller ones called plates. The solid plates float on the molten rocks of the mantle underneath. The ground beneath our feet feels firm and hard, but really it is always moving very slowly. Most earthquakes and volcanoes are found where two or more of the earth's plates bump into each other or pull apart. The plates that form the earth's crust fit together like the pieces of giant jigsaw puzzle. Did you know, a huge earthquake in the Indian Ocean in 2004 produced large sea waves called tsunamis, which killed about 300,000 people.